UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hi Luke, I'm very happy to be covering this week's featured group. What a pairing. These two, they've been going back and forth at each other. There is quite the budding rivalry here. No kidding, Henny. This player, he seems to have picked out Bubba Watson as the man to beat. That's ambitious. Luke, you know when you think that you've got a player on the ropes, maybe they're in the middle of the trees, in the middle of a bunker, and you think they've got no shot. And then they do, in fact, put it to two feet. And then you're really frustrated. That's Bubba every single time. He's that player. No, you can't out Bubba Bubba, can you? Uh, there's nothing elementary about this, Watson, is there? Can't wait to see how this rivalry plays out, though. And he's down there. And from about 105 yards, what a drive that was. F1, watch out. Chosen the pitchy wedge here. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Ooh, right by the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. This is what they have left for par. The second at TPC Summerland is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Could roll into the rough on this one. Playing from around 160 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That's inside the house of opportunity. And now to Bubba Watson. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? This one is all over it. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 19 feet from the cup. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. That's a long-range bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Ah, that's not the shot he was hoping for. Most golfers these days, Rich, are, are quite generic style players it's that hit it as far as you can knock it on the green try and hold some parts but with Bubba Watson we just got the artist back in the game didn't we we had someone who was prepared to do whatever it needed to be to get that ball in the hole he's just astonishing to watch you know to me Luke I think Bubba was born in the wrong era I think he would have been better served with persimmon woods a lot of golf balls and and blades and I think that he would be an even bigger impact on the game than he currently is, if that's even possible. 
I watch what he does with the modern equipment, and it's mind-blowing. He's one of the few players, Luke, that I will actually go in the driving range and watch hit golf shots because it is so fun to watch him aim 30 yards left and just try and hit these big sweeping hooks and fades and every. I mean, it's just unbelievable what he can do with the golf ball. His eye-hand coordination is simply the best in the game. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? This one's for bogey. So far, so good. Yep, well hold for bogey. And unfortunately dropping back to level with the card. Not much happening, moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Rich, this player is definitely not on the top of many people's favourites to win. How do you see them faring here today? The PGA Tour is full of underdogs that can flat out play, Luke. This is just another one of those scenarios. This player is someone to watch. Nice out the rough here. And here we are with the third shot. Three strokes off the lead. that always good when you've got hands like that around the green great touch now three strokes back after that hole the fifth at tpc summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards depending on where they put the tees on this hole ensures the type of club you need to get at it if you're going at it make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. This would be a great up and down. This putt for par here. This one's looking good. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Sitting at one over for the day. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a snaking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Yeah, that one will play. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby.
And choosing the eight iron here. Should find the green. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for birdie here at the sixth. That's the way to bounce back. Good way to make up for the bogey at the last. So after that hole, he's now up to even with the card. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. Ah, uh, great shot. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. That should find the surface. And how about that for confidence? Going right at the pin here in the midst of their rivalry with Bubba Watson. Love seeing that sort of play. And now to Bubba Watson. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Okay, time to return to the action. And this putt to move into the top ten. He's currently tied for eighth. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Opting for the five wood. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. That's well played. Pin high. Trying to get to two under with this part. This is their look at birdie. That's a mistake. Tough to leave that short. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. Now four back after that hole. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. That's some good golf right there. Rich, uh, I know you love being here in Vegas, perhaps for different reasons than watching the golf tournament, but while we're here at the tournament, you know, tell me a bit more about Shriner's impact on the game and, and this entire region. Look, I fail to see what you mean by that. Uh, I think Vegas is a very nice, uh, wholesome city uh, that I do enjoy coming to visit. But the golf course is fantastic. It's held at TPC Summerlin every single year. And it used to be the venue where they had the last round, but now every round is here. And I think the players enjoy that. I think they like being at the same golf course each and every day. They get a feel for it, and I think that's why the scores historically year in, year out, are so much lower than they were in the past. I think it's a, a really good opportunity to go out there and make a ton of birdies, but that's not the easiest thing to do, is it? Getting comfortable making seven, eight, nine birdies around. Some players don't have that, that comfort zone, and so I'm always interested to see the players that get into that zone each and every day and are making that many birdies to see if they can sustain it for four straight days. Looking really good, this one. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, what a touch of class. Holes it from the sand. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. 
All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out, but so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Birdie at the last. This for another. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Looking better. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Getting ready to play their third. That shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole. Par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach this green. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Choosing the 9 iron here. Needs this one to kick right. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. This shot from 120 yards. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's happy, just came off a of birdie. You're kidding me. Did he hold that? And this is why you got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Now, a long-range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. That is hunting for the hole. Oh, that's a ripper. And that will take him to four under. And let's have another look at that one. What an amazing putt from way out. After that hole, they sit in second place. Just one spot behind the leader, Will Zalatoris. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tits, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Rich, there's plenty of paths to the PGA Tour, but few seem to bash their way to the PGA Tour quicker than Will Zalatoris. It was an immediate impact he had, and uh, it's just such an exciting game he possesses. Watching him go from the Corn Ferry Tour and essentially <laughs> bypassing all of that fairly immediately with the three wins and getting onto the PGA Tour and having such a profound effect when he was out there really is 
quite astonishing without getting the win but seemingly in contention each and every week out there it's you feel the sky is the limit for what's going to happen with this young man he is so disciplined in what he does in a round of golf he's got a very he's got a great mind in the way that he approaches the game and how he advances the golf ball to point A to point B. And point, he sees this golf course three shots in advance. It's just kind of like it's right there in front of him. He reminds me of an old school pool player who already is, he's already made all the shots and now just has to go ahead and just sink the next one because he set himself up perfectly for the next one. It, it's, uh, it's impressive. And now four under for the day. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with the tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. Setting up in some very deep rough. Pretty good shot there. And here we are with the third shot. Just one shot back now. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. An opportunity here to move into a tie for first. What a putt. Started this perfectly. Yeah, that was a narrow miss. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. He's currently tied for third. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long putt. Going with the eight iron here. Wonderfully played. 20 feet to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. Well, nice to drop a putt of that length. Well done. And that will take him to five under. With that hole complete, this player is currently tied for top spot alongside Justin Rose. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Rich, when we talk about the English group of golfers over the last 20 years, really Justin Rose has been the the star of them hasn't he major champion world number one hall of famer he's done it all he certainly is that and i have to say he's probably one of the most resilient players you'll ever come across as soon as he got done holding out that shot at the major championship years ago turned professional and went out and missed 20 some odd cuts in a row and never gave up kept after it kept after it 
which that would have broken. That would have broken most men, not Rose. That's why he's gone out and become a major champion. He is such a force in the game. There's no reason why he cannot play at a high level for many, many years to come. The ball striking is phenomenal. I love his stroke. I love the way that he puts it. I just think that he hits so many good putts that just don't go in. It just kind of gets under his skin. Listen, don't let it, Rosie. You putt it fantastically. Keep after it. I love this man's game. He's such a talent. Good looking shot this. The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final par five on the course, Rich, and one the players can reach in two. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16. So most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent lie, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy. There's a couple of low areas and greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and getting rewarded for it. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. No, oh, that's too bad. Six feet remaining to the cup. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. And that will take him to seven under. He's currently in a share of top spot. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're gonna go for it, be very accurate. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. That should set up another chance. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. An opportunity to make a par here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And now to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444 yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. Sitting at seven under par for the day, currently tied for first place. Nicely done. And this putt for the tournament. Ah, fuck. Oh, that's a killer. That would have won the event outright. And Luke, they need this putt now to force a playoff. Was that a good line? Crushing, isn't it? Just a shot. Oh, Rich, what could have been? This player's going to miss out on a playoff by a single shot. 
Luke, what a difficult situation is for this player. So close and yet wasn't able to get it done. That's going to leave a bad taste in this player's mouth. And what an absolute shame that is, Rich. The wind looked like it was in the bag, too. Absolute meltdown of epic proportions. Hopefully they can learn from it, but it was painful to watch, and I'm sure it's going to be painful for that player for a while. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.